While it's a cool morning that gets the residents out for a morning run, there's someone getting ready to compete in a race called Baker to Vegas, and it's... 20 runners per team, and in each leg you carry a baton all the way from the city of Baker to the city of Las Vegas. An average cross-country meet for a high school athlete is about 3.1 miles. For Jacob and his teammates, the amount is doubled. Uh, I know there's one leg that I believe goes about 11 miles, and there's also another leg that goes four miles. Combined total with the 20 runners, though, it's 120 miles. And it doesn't stop there. I'd say the challenging part is just the location. You know, being in the desert, Baker just out of uh, Death Valley over there. When it's hot, it's hot. And there's no uh, protection from the sun, and vice versa. When it's nighttime, that sun drops, it's the desert, it's freezing cold out there. But the weather this time seems to be more on the cooler side than the typical heat. Luckily, uh, it normally takes place the first weekend of April, so this year it's literally on April Fool's Day. Um, so it's one of the nicer times to be in the desert because it's not the middle of the winter and it's also not the middle of the summer. The trail seems to be the hardest part of the experience, but there are other factors that can hinder motivation to the finish line. You know, you could run a couple miles, but once you start getting up, I'd say above five miles, it's starting to get higher. And as I get older, I'd say it's a lot harder to keep your body in that physical condition to maintain the stamina to run. And there are ways that Jacob would make sure that his body was ready for Saturday. You know, stretching, uh, making sure you're hydrated, um, keeping in shape just so you can perform when it comes to race day. What he also has is the support from his teammates. Yeah, they motivate you. So when you're working and someone's saying, hey, you haven't been running, you haven't been working out, you haven't been in shape, they'll be like, come on, like, it's one of those jobs where you need to stay in shape. It's uh, not one of those things where you can just kick back and relax, especially when you're out on patrol. Reporting from Valencia, I'm Kyle Kahamoto.